when you hit the line, you know, all the nerves, everything is there, all the emotion. You're right in the moment, you're in the blocks, and right then and there, you know, it's time to go. When it says set, this is time to show what you have really been doing. The gun goes off and it's just electric. Record-breaking sprinters like Usain Bolt have given Jamaica its reputation for athletic prowess. They dominate on the world stage. But many star athletes like Johan Blake started out on the same track. St. Jago High School has pumped out more Olympic medalists than any other school in the country. I've come to find out how they do it and see if I stand a chance against the next generation. I've been a sports fan for as long as I can remember. I was an avid soccer player as a young kid, and even now I try to stay fit by cycling and running. But from what I've heard, training here at St. Jago is not for the faint of heart. If I'm gonna keep up with these boys, I'll need all the help I can get. Thank you so much. So honorary St. Jago running shirts. Will these make me go faster? Definitely, Yeah. guaranteed. Guaranteed, okay. give me go wings. Faster. All right, thanks coach. I don't know if my legs can go this high, coach. Okay, try. Good. Down to the rhythm. Down to the rhythm. Good. Good. Every day of my life, the win is all I see. Train harder than most, it's more than a dream. This is reality. Yeah, I'm from good. I'm good. I can feel my heartbeat in my feet. And uh, I seem to be the only one sweating here. I really don't know why. Do you think I have a chance against him? No. <laughs> You look me I... deep in the eyes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are natural athletes, incredibly fit, and clearly have the edge on me. Most of them are training two to three hours a day, up to six days a week. But what is it that makes their training so special? I think over the years, we traditionally have developed a formula that has contributed to the rich history we have here in Jamaica. And what is that formula? Well, <laughs> we're not giving the secrets away. No, no, no. It, well, there are commonalities across programs where you want to try to train as systematic as possible and also take in consideration the individual needs. The physical training to get to the top is tailored to each sprinter. But young hopeful Jaheen Bell tells me there's more to it. Why do you think it is that Jamaica produces so many top athletes? Well, I believe it's in the mind, you know? And we have to like really want it to get it. And I believe like we have some good athletes out here who really want it, so it, it shows on the track. What creates that attitude, that desire here? Well, it depends on your background. If you're from a, like, a background that's not really wealthy, it's like giving more um, motivation mm -hmm. to do the track and field and excel. St. Jago School is in Spanish Town, about 20 minutes outside Kingston. It's a poor area rife with crime. So programs like this offer a pathway out. Why I do this basically is to get a scholarship to better myself and my family, basically. What would it mean to your family if you can get that scholarship? It would mean a lot, you know, to take off the financial burden yeah. of my mom and my sisters and return family members. Fighting for their futures, these athletes are pushing themselves mentally and physically, hoping it all makes the difference when it's time to race. The boys have let me join their lineup. From what I've seen of their training, I know now I don't stand a chance. But here, among us, could be Jamaica's next sprinting.